What? Oh no, I should have read these questions before I did this video. I was like, what could be hard? I, I don't mind interviews. This is going to be bad. Hello, my name is Cherie DeVille and I am a professional pornographer. <laughs> I'll give you one. It was a few years ago. I think it was for Twisties. Oh, with the script. So we were doing like a Super Bowl special. And in the script, I had to wear a football helmet. And poor Holly had to figure out how to affix this big fucking dildo to it. And then <laughs> poor little Kristen Scott had to hold the helmet for dear life <laughs> while I was riding her head. It's the most absurd thing, but you know, yeah, that's what the script called for. We all had a very good time. It's still, oh, I'm surprised she didn't hurt her neck. <laughs> Kristen, she's so cute. They don't No, although, funny story, I got to set one day and I had to do an English accent with a fellow actress, Tanya Tate, who actually has an English accent, and it was a travesty um, that went like this. Hello, governor, would you like, oh, that's it. I, I, that's it, that's, that's the max, but um, yeah, I attempted a full 45 minutes of dirty talk in that atrocity that is my attempt at an English accent. So if you want to see that, yeah, I'm never telling you where that is. I'm never ever giving you the location of that video. I don't necessarily have something that, oh my God, if somebody does that, I can never talk to them again. Um, but people who are messy, you know, inconsiderate, non-door holders. I see you. I see all of you. Ooh, I know the answer to this one already because I thought about it because somebody asked me this. And I honestly think the most useful and amazing superhero power would be a happiness bubble. I mean, think about it. That seems like what you, all you're doing is helping other people. But no, can you imagine if every time you were in people's presence, they were just absurdly, amazingly happy? That's the best superpower. You know, I feel like my favorite movies have already become porn parodies, except, and this would be impossible because of porn doesn't have uh, CGI, but I would love to do my favorite film of all time, The Princess Bride, or I would be, of course, Princess Buttercup. But I would, would want to like do it up. I would want ROUSs, I would want all the sword fighting. I would want a very unrealistic budget, but I stand by my answer. My favorite part is definitely getting to have sex with all these amazing, interesting, beautiful, fantastic humans that I've had the pleasure of meeting and banging. And my least favorite part, although I'm not doing it right now because quarantine, um, would be just all the upkeep, you know, the constant uh, nails and hair and this and that, you know, just to kind of polish this turd. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll leave her plain. So I did not know what my sign was uh, before I moved to California. I feel like it's definitely like a West Coast thing, but I did find out a lot about my sign. I hope I'm not telling, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be right on this stuff. So I'm a Virgo, August birthday, late August birthday. Um, and according to all of my friends, I totally match up with it. Virgos are supposed to be like OCD, clean, organized, a little crazy. And yeah, I'm all of those things. So. Sure, I will Virgo it up. <laughs> so 
something fun is I really love and used to do uh, Lindy Hop, which is swing dancing professionally, which I think is super fun. Holly has actually filmed me in a swing dancing movie. Mm. Probably one of, I love the Virgin Islands, like St. Thomas, St. Croix. It's so beautiful there, the water, the vibe, everything, relaxing. Although I still, even there, I think I would have to have the, the island home, but this isn't a fantasy universe, right? The island home and then the city home, because while, you know, the culture and the weather and the beauty are, I would, to me, unparalleled, I still need, you know, that city vibe for some of my time. I, I tell you mine, but it's just because it's dirty. <laughs> I would love to do a scene with like Gandhi and Mother Teresa. Not that I know them personally. I haven't particularly followed their careers, but they're both inspiring religious figures. So I feel like if they were down to do a scene, the dirty talk would be really on another level. Yeah. And just, you know, to corrupt the two of them would be something special in my life. <laughs> I think that I would breed a chinchilla and a hippopotamus, but it would turn out my way. It would be exactly like a hippopotamus with slightly larger chinchilla ears, and a full chinchilla coat of fur. I know. I know. Ooh, and no, no, no. The size of a chinchilla. Thank you. This is Cherie DeVille. I love you, Holly Randall. Thank you for the amazing questions. Yay! Thank you for having me on your site. Mwah. Thank you, fans, for watching my shenanigans. <laughs>